This time last year, I released my first feature film, Over the Next Horizon. Now, Over the Next Horizon is a film that I made totally by myself, and this is how I did it. Over the Next Horizon spawned from a desire to create a, a longer narrative film where I could tell a story that wasn't getting wrapped up in a couple of minutes. And I really wanted to exercise some filmmaking skills. I really wanted to challenge and push myself, and I guess that's really where this came from. The film itself was tailor-made for my resources at the time. So what, what I mean by that is, I took stock of all of the resources that I had access to at that time, and basically created a film, not necessarily the film that I wanted to make, but the film that I could make. I thought of all the different things that were going for me, going for this project. And those things were, I lived in a really interesting place, lots of locations that I could shoot at that would add production value to the film. I could set up a shot with decent composition and I understood a bit about cinematography. I had some lighting gear and that, that was pretty much it. That's what I had going for me. The thing going against me is uh, the fact that I can't act. That was one thing going against me. I am not very good at sound designing and recording sound. That was another thing going against me. And I didn't have any money. So I couldn't pay anyone to act in the film. I couldn't pay anyone to be um, crew for this. Uh, I basically was needing to do everything myself. So what I had to do then is work around some of the barriers and play to some of the strengths. So looking at the barriers first, uh, I can't act but I'm needing to be the lead actor in this film. So what I, the first thing I did is I minimised the amount of dialogue that I would need to say in the film. I think I only say a couple of lines. Uh, I think there's one monologue uh, that, I, that I have in the film. I really didn't give myself that much dialogue uh, and that, that came from me not being very confident in, in the acting space. Not having very good sand gear, uh, I crafted most of the sand in post and used a lot of um, royalty-free sounds or recorded my own sounds after the fact. So that, that's how I worked around that. And the other thing going against me was not being able to pay anyone to be involved in the project. So that led to me needing to be the main character. Not having any crew meant that it really limited my ability to use dynamic camera movement and that kind of thing. I think there's only one shot in the film that isn't on a tripod and that's a shot in uh, my house, I think it's, it's a dolly shot in the hallway. That's the only shot in the whole film that is not locked off on a tripod. And instead of trying to cover up for that or work around it, I just embraced that limitation and had every single shot on a tripod. Didn't shy away from it and I was able to focus on things like composition and lighting more than camera movement. Due to everything being locked off, I just slowed the pace of the film right down and embraced a more contemplative and relaxed filmmaking style for Over the Next Horizon. In terms of the strengths um, or, or resources that I had available to me, I, I think I leaned pretty heavily into the locations and the environments and found some pretty interesting spots to film at. A lot of the locations I drive past every day and took note of and, and then returned to later to, to film. So the locations were a big way that I added production value to the film because I knew that uh, I wasn't gonna bring like an A plus performance and I knew that the camera wasn't moving around a lot, that there, there wasn't a lot of super engaging shots. I had to make the environment engaging that I was in. A lot of the themes of the film sort of came out due to the location that I was shooting in as well. Um, these big vast locations where uh, I was very small in the frame were a way that for me to develop the theme of loneliness and, um, and, and isolation and, and being left behind which are uh, themes in the film. When you're making a film on your own, you have to really take stock of what you have. And that's, that's really what this comes down to, is you have to understand what resources you don't have and what resources you do have. So whether you have a crew or don't have a crew, or if you have really excellent gear or you don't, there's gonna be limitations to your ability to make this film. That's why it's really important to understand what your limitations are so that you can work on a story and create a plot that doesn't rely on anything that you're weak in. There's a thousand different stories that you can tell when you're making a movie and 
the story that you're most excited about at any given time might not be the story that you're actually going to be able to tell when you're making a film, especially when it's a film that you're making with really limited resources. 